and welcome back. Today what we're going to do is talk about the probability of dependent events. Okay, so in a previous video we watched about uh, independent events. In this one we're going to talk about dependent events. Okay, so now what do we mean by dependent events? Okay, these are events that actually depend on one another. Okay, either one of them depends on the other event happening, uh, a certain, you have to meet certain criteria, or something to that effect. Okay, so uh, for example, um, uh, actually, we'll go through this notation first, then we'll get to the example. Okay, so if A and B are those two events and they are dependent events, then the probability of both of them happening, event A and event B happening, is equal to the probability of the first one happening times the probability of the second one happening, assuming that the first one has already happened. Okay, that, that's also read down here, where this notation here is the probability of B given that A has occurred. So you can think of this vertical line here as kind of like a uh, this has occurred. So after this, this event has occurred. After this little bar here, this event has occurred. Okay, so that's one way you can look at it. All right, so this is an example of a dependent event. A red and blue number cube are rolled. Okay, red and blue so we can keep track of which one is which. Find the probability of red rolling a 6, and the sum is greater than 9. Explain why the events are dependent. Okay, well actually the events are dependent because of this word right here. Okay, so uh, this event is dependent, is dependent because, okay, now this word sum means I need to add two things together. Okay, so when I add two things together, well, I need two things. I need one of them to roll a number, and I need the second one to roll another number. So what I need is I need two numbers, one from one cube and one from the other. Um, and so what, I'm, what, I, what this means is I am dependent because I need both cubes to roll a number to make a sum. Okay, so this event is dependent because sums need two numbers to add together. Okay, now that's, that's just a very basic way of, of going over uh, why this would be a dependent event. Okay, so we've explained why it's dependent, so now I'll change a little colors here. Now we're going to actually get into the probability. Find the probability of red rolling a 6 and and the sum is greater than 9. So I'm going to say that the sum is greater than 9. Okay. So now when we work with this, I'm going to kind of refer back up to here. If we're looking at dependent events, what we look at is if we want both of these events to happen, this is going to be equal to the probability of the first event happening times the probability of the second one happening given that the first one has already happened. Okay, so this is what the notation is going to look like. Equals the probability of the first one happening, so red 6, all right, times the probability of the second one happening, us getting a sum greater than 9, assuming given that we already have a red 6. Okay, so what is the probability of getting a red 6? So I roll the red cube, what's the probability of getting a 6? That's pretty easy, it's going to happen one out of every six times. Okay, that's pretty easy probability to come up with. This first part is usually not really that difficult to come up with the probability. Okay, the second part on the other hand, assume that you have rolled a 6. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I've rolled a red 6 already, using my little colors here. I've already ro rolled a red 6 already, and now for the blue number, so to change my colors here, I can either roll a 1, a 2, a 3, a 4, a 5, or a 6. Okay, I got a lot of choices of the numbers that I could roll. So in this case, what we want is we want a sum greater than 9. Well, a sum greater than 9 would be a 10. 11 or a 12. Okay, those are the three numbers that I'm looking for, a 10, 11, or 12. Okay, so now looking at my choices that I have, I can roll a 6 and a 4, a 6 and a 5, or a 6 and a 6. Okay, 
any one of those combinations will give me a sum that is greater than 9, assuming that I have already rolled a 6. Again, given that I have already rolled a red 6. So what this tells me is that there's 6, 4, 6, 5, 6, 6. There are three such events that meet my criteria of a sum greater than 9 out of a total of, well, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Out of a total of 6. 6, 1, 6, 2, 6, 3, 6, 4, 6, 5, 6, 6. There are six such events that could happen. Okay? Now, sometimes you might have to do a small diagram like this, write out these numbers, so you can figure out your totals. Okay? Multiply these together. This would be 3 out of 36, which is a total, reduces down to 1 12th. And there we are. So 1 out of every 12 tosses of the two number cubes is going to give me uh, a red 6 and a sum greater than 9. There we go. And that's an example of our dependent events. Okay? Again, remember, dependent means that they depend on one another. Either um, uh, they both depend on one another or um, uh, I guess the, the examples that we'll have is that only one of them depends on the other. This red 6 didn't really depend on the other cube. Okay? The sum greater than 9, that definitely depended on both cubes because I need both numbers to get that sum. Okay. Anyway, that is the probability of dependent events. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.